Welcome to today's Debunction Junction. And today I'm sitting in, the, in front of the Cringe Pavilion and uh, I'm about to go upstairs and listen to the Premier's talk about CCS. And I just want to take a moment, because we've already talked about CCS and Debunction Junction, but I want to take a moment as to try and dissect why the Premier's are here. Um, because, you know, I'm not seeing them actually put a lot of energy into climate solutions here. All uh, what I'm hearing is fossil fuels are going to be with us for decades, if not centuries, that we have the most ethical oil, which maybe we should debunk in a, in a different segment, and that uh, CCS is going to be the way that we can continue to basically do what we've been doing um, forever. So the, I think the thing that really jumped at me was the methane reduction, the federal methane reduction a couple days ago, 75% reduction from 2005 levels. Um, so what's strange about this is, number one, um, the U.S. has done a similar target. They were announced a couple weeks ago, and that um, we generally follow the United States. But you know, if they can do it, why can't we? Number two, um, we know that we are responsible for a lot of methane going into the atmosphere. In fact, we're underestimating by by significant amounts uh, how much methane Alberta is putting into the atmosphere, and we're worse than many other jurisdictions, including BC. And number three, the, the UCP itself has a 75 to 80 percent reduction target in their uh, plan. So what's going on here? Well, I, I think part of it may be that the UCP target is aspirational and not real, not, not based in, in true regulation, and maybe the, the Ottawa regulation will be. Also, I think there's always an effort to pick a fight with Ottawa, even if it align, their policies align with the UCPs. So um, I'll put some references for all of this in the show notes.